here's a very fundamental question I want to ask as a biologist, you know, because when I look at biological systems, my body, your body, uh, uh, the human body has 100 trillion cells. Each cell, uh, to some people's approximation, does 100,000 activities per second. Every cell is instantly correlated with every cell. A human body can think thoughts, play a piano, kill germs, remove toxins, make a baby all at once. Okay, whilst it's doing that, your biological rhythms are actually mirroring the uh, symphony of the universe because you have circadian rhythms, seasonal rhythms, tidal rhythms, you know, they mirror everything that's happening in the whole universe. To my mind, the human body is an example, or for that matter, a leaf or any biological uh, of quantum entanglement. Everything is correlated with everything instantly. Would you, um, what would you say to that? Well, yes, uh, things are entangled. So in some sense, messages can travel faster than light instantaneously. Mm -hmm. However, the messages that go faster than light are random messages. Mm -hmm. You can't send Morse code or information through these things. And sometimes uh, we decohere from matter so that we can no longer communicate with other forms of matter. Uh, for example, believe it or not, if parallel universes exist, uh, this means that in the quantum realm, uh, Elvis Presley could still be alive. Mm -hmm. uh, he could still be alive in a parallel universe that is vibrating out of phase with our universe. Mm -hmm. So that universe has decohered from our universe. Mm -hmm. We can no longer interact with the universe of dinosaurs and space aliens and universes where... But let's come back to a biological system. You know, that's not random. That's very coherent. You know, this biological system or a system like, say... Uh, uh, when you have morphogenesis and differentiation, when a cell divides, keeps dividing, mm -hmm. so that, you know, in 50 replications, it's become the 100 trillion cells, which is more than all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy, that requires some kind of non-local correlation, to my mind, theoretically. Well, these non-local correlations are going to be extremely important in the next few decades, mm -hmm. Uh, coming from the computer realm of things, first mm -hmm. of all, not the biological, uh, because computer power based on silicon will be exhausted in about 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. uh, silicon Valley could become a rust belt. Mm -hmm. We may have to go to quantum computers. Mm -hmm. And quantum computers compute on atoms. Mm -hmm. Forget the transistors of mm -hmm. silicon. Uh, when Silicon Valley becomes a rust belt, we'll have quantum computers computing on atoms. Mm -hmm. And then this discussion we're having will determine the gross domestic product of the planet Earth. <laughs>